Hi, uh, my name is Faith Edwards. And I'm Jack Claff. I'm Robert Gillespie, would you believe? And you're? <laughs> I'm Claire Cameron. Claff. And you're watching Entertainment Focus. The, the three pieces are linked. There are, uh, there are two um, elements linking the pieces. One is that Jack Clough, <laughs> Jack Clough is in all of them. <laughs> and the other is that they are all about m men relating to women. This is an opportunity to say, what do you think of this? Mm. Uh, there are three pieces that have definitely not going to waste anybody's time, serious people, uh, you know, doing serious stuff and uh, you know trying to discuss trying to show and tell about you know something that obsesses every single person because even if people live alone they say I live alone because I don't want that stuff mm -hmm. so that's quite possible that people come along and say well that just confirms it actually <laughs> I don't want you know on the other hand there are going to be people who will say oh that's really quite touching um, th that's that's a great thing in, in the theatre, you know, you make them laugh, make them cry, make them wait. Let's mm. hope that, let's hope that that, mm. uh, that mm. is what we do. So. The, the, the theme that runs, you know, that I suppose runs through Mother, that also, you know, ca ca sort of existed in Love Question Mark and sort of we're looking at in Village Wooing, um, is sort of how women survive um, and the choices they have to make um, when they're, Perhaps not from, this is not so relevant for village wing, but particularly for mother, when they're not from privileged backgrounds, when they're sort of in situations where they've got children, and that sort of was obviously something that we began with a question mark, and it's very prevalent in mother as well. The thing that Jack said to me the other day, uh, he said, um, I can't remember if you, if you were there or not, but he said, um, what's this with two white-haired blokes Talking about women. Mm. Does that, do you hate that? Do I hate it? No. Yeah. Why, why shouldn't two white haired blokes well, talk about women? You think that's alright? I think all blokes talk about women. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Uh. I do find that fascinating. I don't think there's a distinction whether it's a male or female writer. It's a different perspective because at the end of the day, it's a human experience. It is, the, you, you've asked the question really about, about you know, uh, the, the male viewpoint really. Yes. You're, you're getting three p pieces. One is uh, one is by R Robert. One is by uh, uh, this poor little beginning writer called George Bernard Shaw, and mm -hmm. and one is and one is a sort of compilation of stuff that that I did. And although notionally I'm called the writer performer, <coughs> and indeed Robert is helping with the editing and shaping and everything, um, I couldn't do I couldn't do the work without women advising on it. I, I mean, to be honest, in reading her part and, and what she has to say, I've seen more meat on this than maybe one written by a female. Right, I don't see a distinction. Right. It's, for me, it's overwhelming because of her background, her background story and the complexity of what she's, she's coming to your home, your character's home with. Um, for me, it's... Highly what charged. was your reaction it's highly... to the, the character effect when you when you read it then? It... Oh God! I mean, she's powerful. I mean, strong woman. Um, I just thought, oh my God, how do I access this character? Uh, at what points? Where are my entrance points to her? Uh, Robert and I have worked together a few times now, and uh, it's 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 you know it comes from a lot of the obs obsessions. His obsessions one mm -hmm. to do with. Uh, population and, and and food and so on and 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 what's happening to the planet, and 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 uh, the spirit of the spirit of humanity. Mm. I mean, one of the things, if you don't mind me saying so, that Robert said that goes around the play. I'm trying to push for it to be in the play. Is is that you know the last thing when people are really really low, they stop masturbating because mm. they there's there's something about the connection between our sexuality mm. and hope. Uh, and this is a play that, you know, surprise, surprise, Robert's gone deep into things. He's, 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 he's gone to the extremes of, of uh, human experience. Uh, and that's what drama should do. Us Brits, and most of Europe, went out to Africa, grabbed as much as we can, um, you know, pl plundered it, and then came back here and tried to shut the door very quickly and say uh, we're fine now we don't want it's too expensive now it's um, 
uh, it's not supporting our economy and our lifestyle anymore. Uh, good night. And of course, <laughs> if you look around London, mm. uh, you know, <clears throat> quite a bit of Africa has come over. He's a reduced person living on his own, <laughs> um, uh, sorting through his stamps, and to me that uh, uh, gives one a flavour of the, the empire. And what happens? The doorbell rings and the empire comes back. <laughs> <laughs> the empire strikes back. Yes. <laughs> the other thing is that uh, obviously the, the story itself subtly could not have happened to anyone but a woman. And of course, uh, there is this, uh, one of the things that I think um, is a springboard for me is that <laughs> women um, are often treated as if, well, quite uh, globally treated as if they're a minority, as if issues around them are to do with some small section of, <laughs> of the population, but they're half of all people. Well, you know, it's very famous. This uh, somebody said, if 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 Mr. Shaw at meat, no woman in London <laughs> would be safe. You know, yeah. uh, it's interesting that Bernard Shaw writes this. Uh, he doesn't give the characters names. He calls them A to Z, and I think I think that tells you that he understands quite a lot about the universe. It's <laughs> about men and women. Essentially, of course, there are variations here and there, you know. But <clears throat> so, what do you? Th you're playing Z, aren't you? I am. Elaborate on what you what you what you mean when you say you think that means he understands something about the universe. Well, is because you can go into you know you can play music, you can collect stamps, which is what happens in my play, as a distraction. But in the end, you end up having to construct or deconstruct this relationship, haven't you? But do you think she's a virgin? <laughs> <laughs> In that day and age, I, I uh, honestly haven't thought about it. I, yeah, yeah. I, would have I thought, think you should start thinking about it. I probably should, it. shouldn't I? Yeah. <laughs> because we're going to be working on yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, fairly soon. Yeah, I just assumed she was. Yes. Yes. She knows how to manipulate uh, yeah. the man. She, she's she's good. Good. she does, but is that synonymous with, oh, she must, have, she must know men sexually. Why can't you just know people because you can sort of get a grasp of their personality or, you know, any interactions? That's like saying unless you've... Well, yeah, if you, that's like saying all virgins can't fully understand people, surely. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Now, uh, the central character, I think, A, is Shaw, it's an aspect of Shaw. And I, from the biography I've read of him, he constantly beat himself uh, up about the fact that he couldn't stop desiring women. But I think to me, the guilt is to do with why should a, a, a sophisticated, educated, refined person like me want to be bothered with a woman's body? How coarse, how vile, how, oh, do you see what I mean? Yeah, 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 yes, 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 yes. It's yes, yes, that yes. revulsion. I don't, I'm not sure it's guilt. It's a kind of, it's, it's being disappointed at himself. Yes. We should be higher, we should be more uh, up, 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 Absolutely, up, up. More, we should be more floating on another, floating on another, level, on another yes, level. Oh, God, it's awful, you know, isn't it? That's true. And yes, he's yes. totally quiet and saying nothing. <laughs> <laughs> A long time ago, I had a girlfriend. And uh, those were the days. And uh, we, we decided, we'd, I decided that I'd uh, develop a, 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 a vehicle for both of us because she could sing and dance. She was funny. She was very, very funny. And I thought maybe we could be, you know, George Burns and uh, Gracie Allen. She had a sort of kooky sense of humor. Anyway, I wrote this piece for the two of us. And then she got offered a job in the West End. And I was going up to the Edinburgh Fringe. And the Edinburgh Fringe didn't seem as glamorous as the West End, so she went off and did her play in the West End, and I did Cuddles playing her part. I played him and her. Um, and uh, the, the show in the West End closed, and I went on doing Cuddles. <laughs> Jack and I were in a play at the Finborough together. We were both priests of a sort. And uh, we had a coffee, and then we found we had a similar uh, um, interest, which was... Uh, women. Women. 
uh, 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 and relationship, and that I, maybe I should share this with the planet, because we more or less both said together is that neither of us feels guilt. We're talking about sex now. I mean, if I, if we, well, what we're talking about. Well, I mean, if if I would, sex. I would feel guilt. You know, I'd feel guilt. I don't believe it. No, there are things about. Uh, I don't feel guilt. I, I think that sex is a really wonderful thing to do, and so you shouldn't go into a sexual encounter uh, uh, if you think that you're going to feel guilty afterwards. I mean, it seems to, unless you know, for some people, guilt is part of the pleasure. Yes, but that's a completely different yeah. thing, isn't it? And it's also to do with the time you, you're alive. I think to start fe feeling guilty in 2014 is, is, is uh, self-indulgent. What's fantastic about anything, any subject you, you deal with, is you talk about it and then this opposite becomes amusing and, and so on. Or you, you, you look at, at, at what, its, um, you know, what its implications are and it becomes amusing. It's just an endlessly funny thing, and um, you know I grew up in a very repressed uh, environment, but it, it was repressive in terms of religion, but also repressive in terms of you know how the government perceived things. I'm talking about South Africa, where the miniskirt was regarded as responsible for the drought, uh, yeah. where you know you just didn't do that and you didn't do that and also there was no sexuality between the races well of course as soon as you say there should be no sexuality between the races then it then it starts but what surprised me is how many laughs the first version got and one of the reasons I was surprised is because I wrote it with such pain <laughs> nevertheless all these three pieces you know, uh, are leavened with humour. Otherwise, uh, I don't think we'd be doing. <laughs> yeah, no, yes, I must, I must say, you know, it, it cuddles is cuddles is. Um, uh, it's very punchy. I, I don't, but because I never saw my folks fight, and because I was kept out of the sex lessons that Mrs. Gordon gave when I was a schoolboy, um, I've always wanted to get into that classroom, yeah. and I've always tried to understand, you know why we can't just get on. I think it will be a valuable opportunity to get feedback from the audience as well. Oh, yes, yes. Um, probably discussion afterwards if people feel comfortable with that or possibly, you know, we might get some mm. written feedback, however, whatever people feel comfortable with. But mm. that's uh, a really valuable part of the process for anyone who comes to see it. Because mm. obviously they can input and kind of influence and tell us what their impression of the work is and whether it's kind of relevant to them. And worth pursuing. Yeah, and then I guess they can badger you on Twitter as well, is it? Yes, well, it's, only can. Can. <laughs> <laughs> well it's, it's only five quid, so it's. Uh, yeah. It'd be really oh, not. Bargainsville, yeah. Yeah, yeah. two yeah. plays yeah. for a fiver. Can't yeah. say fairer than that.